The parents of Kendrick Johnson shared a photograph with the media depicting their son's face as he rested in the funeral home. In this image, Kendrick Johnson's face appears severely swollen, rendering it almost unrecognizable. The public reacted with shock to the photograph, leading to increased support for the Johnson family in their pursuit of the truth. On May 8, 2013, a judge authorized the exhumation of Kendrick Johnson's body. A private pathologist was subsequently engaged to perform a second autopsy. This examination indicated that Kendrick Johnson had experienced hemorrhaging on the right side of his neck, suggesting that he likely succumbed to blunt force trauma. The pathologist determined that his death was not accidental. Furthermore, the second autopsy uncovered that several of Johnson's organs were absent, and in their place, his body had been filled with newspaper. The Georgia Bureau of Investigations, GBI, asserted that following the initial autopsy, Johnson's organs were reinserted into the body prior to its transfer to the funeral home. However, the coroner indicated that these organs were not sent to the funeral home due to significant decomposition and were disposed of prior to that transfer. The funeral home stated that it received the body without any organs, which were typically substituted with materials such as paper or sawdust during the embalming process. The Johnson family attempted to file a lawsuit against the funeral home for allegedly mishandling their son's remains, potentially to obscure the actual cause of death. However, this case was ultimately dismissed. The absence of the organs prevented any testing during the subsequent autopsy, intensifying the suspicions of Johnson's parents regarding a possible cover-up. In light of this new information, Matthew Moore, the U.S. Attorney for the Middle District of Georgia, announced a formal review of the case. The Johnson family sought a coroner's inquest, aiming to initiate the reclassification of Kendrick Johnson's death as non-accidental and to reopen the investigation. However, their request was ultimately denied, despite the coroner Bill Watson having initially voiced concerns regarding the Sheriff Department's management of the case. Surveillance footage and suspects finally emerge. CNN obtained the security footage from the school on the day of Kendrick Johnson's death. However, upon examination, it became evident that the footage provided minimal clarity regarding the events of that day. The cameras directed at the mats were out of focus and exhibited erratic movement. The footage only captured Kendrick Johnson approaching the gym and a few seconds of him jogging inside. There was no evidence of him being present in or exiting the gym, and notably, he did not attend his subsequent classes. Moreover, a significant hour of footage from the gym was absent, coinciding with the period that could have clarified the circumstances surrounding his death. This discovery further fueled skepticism among those who believed that the incident was not merely an accident. In 2014, Kendrick Johnson's parents initiated a wrongful death lawsuit against the school officials, claiming that their son had been subjected to harassment by a white student, which the school allegedly overlooked, potentially due to racial bias. Ebony.com reported that the murder of Johnson was allegedly committed by two white brothers, although their names were not disclosed. The physical description of these individuals bore a striking resemblance to Brian and Brandon Bell, whom the publication suggested had taken Kendrick's life due to a prior altercation that had occurred over a year prior and had intensified. The Johnson family further alleged that the brother's father, who was serving as an FBI agent at the time, played a role in concealing the murder by influencing the school and the authorities involved in the investigation of Johnson's death. In 2015, the Johnsons initiated a civil lawsuit seeking $100 million against 38 defendants, which included three of their son's classmates, 
the educational institution, the local crime laboratory, various state and federal officials, five agents from the GBI, an FBI agent, among others. The parents contended that the sons of the FBI agent were responsible for Johnson's death and utilized their connections to obstruct the investigation. However, Johnson's father acknowledged that he possessed no concrete evidence to substantiate these allegations, leading the Johnsons to withdraw their lawsuit. They subsequently faced a lawsuit for over $850,000 in attorney fees and more than $1 million in defamation claims. Ultimately, a judge mandated that they pay nearly $300,000 in legal fees to those they had accused without sufficient evidence. In June 2018, Kendrick Johnson's remains were exhumed for a second time, leading to the execution of a third autopsy. The results of this second autopsy indicated that Johnson's death was 